all dressed up, ready to hit the streets and make my moves for the day. But I figured before I slide out and change the world for the better, I'd knock out another bag of chips. I was considering taking a brief hiatus since we had a very long streak, but that last bag was such a fucking outrage that I just couldn't let it stand. So I wanna try to clear the decks here and see if we can end on a better note, but I'm not expecting that we're going to because even though I have like a big pile of chips that are promising to be awesome, I've I've been lied to before. So I'm, I'm prepared to be hurt again. So lowering the bar, lowering my expectations. And there will be a break sooner or later because I'm gonna be out of the city for a minute. So <clears throat> that being fucking said, this is a bag that was donated to me by Mr. Jana Panich, for those of you who have been following Psychedelic War for a long time, would know him as the Beer Lao guy. And he brought me back, he's from Thailand, and he has a supermarket in Jersey that he goes to that specializes in Thai food, and they have imported chips, and so he got me this. Now this is from Thailand, but it's a series called Inspired by America, so I'm assuming that these are their interpretations of what American people eat. And this one is lobster roll. I love a good lobster roll, not gonna lie. There's no way you can make that into a potato chip, although I'm gonna risk it. There's a couple of things on the back, but they're they're in Thai and I can't read them. One looks like tacos, one looks like, uh, I can't tell what they are, but I would love to get these if they ever show up, no matter what. But anyway, let's see if lobster roll can be made into into a potato chip. I'm looking at the ingredients and it's all chemicals. Get this. It's potatoes, vegetable oil, seasoning, flavor enhancer, anti-caking agent. Okay, so there'll be no caking going on. That's a relief. Packaging gas. <laughs> They're just farting in the bag. Natural flavor, Natural identical flavor, no preservatives. Okay, contains wheat, soybean. Oh, shrimp and squid. Okay, well that that bodes well. You couldn't put actual lobster in it. Who knows? Anyway, okay, lobster roll. If probably if they're lucky, it'll just taste like fucking mayonnaise and mm, got a got a some sort of. That's the gas I'm huffing. I'm just huffing packing gas, getting high off of it. All right, so it's a. Hmm. Now. Do I smell the sea? No. Well, are you kidding? It's a little sweet up front. Maybe I'm in a good mood. I'm in a receptive mood. I definitely taste taste the seasoning. Well, they put on lobster roll. It's like got chives and like a flavored, flared like tartar sauce. Yeah. And there it is. I've tasted this before that fake crustacean flavor. Right. It's like almost there. Yeah. Yeah. This I don't know if I like it but they're getting, they're somewhat close. They're in the ballpark. It's reminiscent of, it's like, tastes like, it's a scented candle vibe. You know, I'm sort of just, you taste it, but it seems like remote, if that makes any sense. Mostly tastes like tartar sauce, but I'm happy just because I'm not struck dumb by how terrible it is. It's like fun. Wouldn't recommend it. Wouldn't ever eat it again. But I'm entertained. And this is with 7-Eleven. What does that have to do with anything? 